our bench, uh, we didn't come off and do what we need to do from the bench, especially defensively and offensively. But um, we did what we had to do to win. Um, we got James Madison coming here, which is playing very well right now. So we'll have our hands full on Thursday. And give St. Joe's uh, credit. We made runs, and they tell you that they did good. We were switching, and they did some good things against our switches. So give them credit too. Very well coached. Very well coached. Uh, Coach, first two rounds, you guys have now forced 45 turnovers combined in the first two games. How much of that has just been a, a key of what you wanted to to get done? And, it's just playing hard, getting up the lanes, and, and talking, communicating, and playing hard, and getting to the ball. And, and, and when you do that, you're going to create some turnovers. I thought we shot from, you know, we what we missed one foul shot. I mean, that's pretty good too. We don't normally do that, so. Kind of the second game in a row that Davenport has started a little bit slow. What have you kind of seen from her in the first quarter? She just got to come out and play hard. I mean, I just got to come out and play hard. You know, when your shots are not falling or you're not scoring, then you play harder. You play defense. You rebound. You get to the rim. You get you, you play harder. You just don't stand. And, you know, as you notice, I kept taking her out, taking her out, taking her out, taking her out. And then finally she hit a bucket. That's the best thing probably could happen. She hit a bucket, and then she started playing harder. Coach, you got out to that big lead, and then – had a couple of defensive lapses right after you subbed, I think. John, I didn't recognize you in the beginning. What's up, buddy? Not much, buddy. How you doing? Oh, living a dream. <laughs> uh, yeah, we – but I start substituting. I mean, it's been the same thing all year. It's been the same thing all year with all these injuries and stuff. And You know, I, I, I never understand when you have subs come in, they determine their playing time. They deter I don't determine. You come in, you play hard. You do what we ask of you, you play a lot of minutes. You come in, you don't play hard, and you don't do what we ask of you, you don't play a lot of minutes. I mean, so I, I never understand that. I really never understand a player that don't understand you control your playing time. You control it. I don't control it. And, and that's frustrating to me. That's frustrating to me. I think part of it is they're looking down the bench and they realize that you only have nine. You yeah, have sure, sure. But – you know, just people coming off the bench should be hungry to get in there and play hard. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, if I'm one of them, I, I mean, there, there's players on our bench could have played 25 minutes a game this year, 25 minutes a game if they just played hard. And, you know, and, and, and when they don't, I have to play our starters a lot more minutes. And then you're right. If, if, if your people off the bench are not playing hard and your starters are not playing hard, you're, you're out of luck here a little bit. You're out of luck. You just got to put up with it. You mentioned James Madison's playing well right now. Mm -hmm. Their inside game passed very well against you when you weren't getting where yeah. you needed to be. Is that a concern against them? Absolutely. Um, everything. What was happening was our other post was helping, and our guard wasn't helping the post. You know, it's called help defense. And uh, it's not a new concept. It's been around for a lot of years. I help you, you help me. And uh, we'll, we'll work on that in practice this week. Coach, uh, Tiana moved in by fourth all-time scoring and yeah. rebounding tonight. I mean, pretty good, big accomplishment for her career. And yeah. You've yeah. talked a, a lot about her and, and what she's done and what she's had to do. But, I mean, uh, I mean she's become a, a leader on and off the court. I was mm -hmm. kind of wondering what other things don't we see w with her that, that, that she – accomplishes that, that she does for the Just the way she handles herself when nobody's watching and, and, and the leadership when nobody's watching and pulling somebody to the uh, a side and talking to them or going over their apartment and talking to them or, or in the middle of practice say, Coach, can I bring them in the middle a second? Just things like that that people don't see. And uh, she sacrificed so much of her game over the last four years that uh, for her to be in the position, fourth leading scorer and uh, rebounder up there is, is just amazing. Just amazing. And, and, and could happen for a better person. Could not happen for a better person. A lot of that she took upon herself to do. I mean, it's not something you had to oh, no. preach to her. Uh, I mean, yeah. She'll tell you her, when we redshirted her freshman year, I used to tell her, 
get on the side and get out of my sight a little bit. All right. And now, some players would go over and pout. She went over and worked on her game. That's the difference. That's why she has the stats she has right now. She didn't take it personal. She got over and worked on her game. And players that do that are very successful, very successful. Shania had a little bit of an issue, or she was having trouble kind of putting the ball in the hoop. But at the same time, she had eight assists. Is that concerning? No. If no, not at all, not at all. As a matter of fact, I jumped her a couple of times. She had wide open shots, didn't shoot it. I mean, I'd rather shoot it than turn it over. So, no, no. I, she's one of our shooters. She's open shoot it. Open shoot it. You know, uh, no, not at all. I, I never get concerned. As long as they're good shots, shoot, shoot the basketball. You're one of our shooters. Next game, she would go eight for nine. I mean, it don't matter. It don't matter. Coach, I know early in the year you were kind of disappointed sometimes when you don't get much of a crowd. Yeah. And today was about 1,600 announced. I mean, you hoping for much larger turnout? On I Friday? hope so. I, these girls deserve it. I mean, some people thought the game was at four, some at two, some at seven, some at, uh, you know, hopefully we can get all that straightened up. Uh, but the crowd that was here was great. The crowd that was here was great. Um, hopefully we can get more. These girls deserve it, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be in the evening. I know it's on a school night, but still, it would be great to get a great crowd. This is going to be a tough game now. A lot of people think, you know, it's James Madison or whatever. Well, the team that just beat Penn State, they just beat by 30. Okay, so it's not like that. This is a good basketball program. So we're going to need all the support we can get.